Okay, hi, so we're gonna do a video about just removing watermarks, a quick one. So let's say I have uh, these images that are all random um, and we're gonna remove some watermarks. So quickly, what you can do is just click on an image, um, start simple, choose remove watermark. So let's see if that works. Sometimes it takes a few seconds. There we go. So the watermark's gone. It tells you to watch tutorials. So uh, you can do that for other ones. So there's another watermark there. It only removes one at a time. So we could try to remove a second one and see if that works. Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it works. It, it usually works. There we go. So it removed both. That's pretty cool. So you could probably do that on multiple images at the same time that are similar so you could probably do the same to just both of these at the same time um, they don't actually have to be similar you could just choose 10 random ones but uh, you'll see here if you choose multiple uh, it should remove them from multiple images uh, fairly quickly it replaced it and then it also removed it removed this one on this one so uh, you see it it just chose one of the two. I don't know if this one will now get removed here. We'll try one more time because I, there's some other features I want to show you in terms of removing watermarks. Sometimes it doesn't work, so let's see if this one works or doesn't work. Sometimes it can't recognize uh, the watermark. So sometimes it takes a little bit longer because it's uh, looking for a similar image. So if it can't remove a watermark, it'll actually try and search for something similar. So look at this. So there's another image here that's the same. And for some reason, it wasn't able to automatically swap it. It's usually pretty good at doing that. But in some cases, if the image isn't exactly the same, uh, it doesn't. So you can see the sizes. Uh, this one's pretty good, 800 by 800. It's the same actually so you just take that image and it swaps it out so this app does a few things it removes it finds watermarks and removes them or it also finds similar images and you can swap them and it does a combination of both automatically so you saw that that it, it tried to couldn't do it but you could still get it done now let's say that uh, these don't work um, with the other things so we'll, I'll show you a different way of removing watermarks uh, let's start with Let's start with yeah with these, and um, basically you would use the editor. So you could go to the editor, and then you see it, you would basically disable all the things here on the side, so you have just a fresh image, and then you could just drag a box. You could drag your mouse and create a box, and just put it right over the watermark. And usually it's pretty good at actually detecting the background, but it didn't. So you just click on the color that you want it to match, and boom, it just it matches that color, so it's gone. And you would do the same thing, you would just swap it. So there's a lot of other options here, I'll talk about those, but you're basically just adding a layer on top of the other watermark. And you could add it different, you can tweak the layer to make it circles or uh, rectangles in case you need to kind of fit it in there. Um, but you can modify it manually too by changing these settings. So I'll swap that in. And that's basically how you would use the editor. You just create layers. And if there's multiple watermarks, you would just swap it, re-edit it, swap it again. Um, then let's say there's this one. And let's say this one doesn't work either. But you see, the problem is, is if you use the editor on this one, um, you can't because it won't blend in, right? So my solution for this one would be to crop out this left side. So you do a crop edges, and you would crop the left. You would crop the zero, the right at zero. So let's say we left it there, and then you could crop the left at maybe even less. Um, you kind of want to look at what the numbers were saying, but actually maybe 80 was the right number, or 70. Yeah, 70 would work. 
so you could crop it here now your image is a different proportion and you can change that later but uh, that was that's what you'd be left with so you would just swap that out and now you have that